Welcome to a lesson on equal and equivalent sets. Equal sets are identical to each other, meaning they contain the same elements without regard to order. For example, we have set A with elements 2, 3, and 4. We have set B with elements 3, 2, and 4. Because the two sets have exactly the same elements without regard to order, we can say that set A equals set B. Equivalent sets have the same number of elements or the same cardinality. Recall the cardinality of a set is the number of elements in that set. So for example, if set A has the elements 2, 3, and 4, set B has the elements A, B, and C, of course the two sets are not equal because the elements in the sets are different. However, set A contains three elements or has cardinality of three. Set B also has three elements and therefore has cardinality equal to three. And therefore the two sets are considered equivalent. And we use this symbol here for equivalence. Let's take a look at some more examples. We're asked to determine if the following pairs of sets are equal, equivalent, or neither. Number one, set E has the elements two, four, six, eight, and 10. Set F has the elements fork, spoon, knife, meat thermometer, and can opener. Of course, the two sets are not equal because the elements in the two sets are different. However, set E contains five elements. Set F contains five elements indicating the cardinality of both are equal to five. And because of this, we say set E is equivalent to set F. Number two, set A is the empty set, which is a set containing no elements, and set B is a set of prime numbers less than two. So again, we know set A is the empty set with no elements. Again, set B is a set of all prime numbers less than two. Recall that prime numbers consist of the set of counting numbers greater than one that only have two factors, one in itself. And again, set B is a set of prime numbers less than two. So the set of prime numbers would be the set containing the elements two, three, five, seven, eleven, and so on. But again, our set B contains prime numbers less than two. We can see there are no prime numbers less than two, and therefore set B is also the empty set. Because both sets contain no elements, we can say that set A equals set B. It's also true that two sets are equivalent. Equal sets are always equivalent, but stating two sets are equal is giving more information than stating if they are equivalent. And finally for number three, the set M is a set of vowels in the word happiness, and the set N is a set of consonants in the word happiness. So let's analyze the word happiness. Recall the vowels are A, E, I, O, and U, and sometimes Y. In this case, the vowels are A, I, and E. This indicates that set M contains three elements, the elements A, E, and I. Well, we're here, notice the cardinality of set M is three. And now let's determine set N, which is a set of consonants in the word happiness. So going back to the word happiness, the consonants are H, P, N, and S, which indicates that set N contains the elements H, P, N, and S. Notice the cardinality of set N is four. So we don't have equal sets because the elements in the sets are different and the cardinalities are not equal, which indicates the sets are not equal and not equivalent, which we can also express using the notation shown here on the right. I hope you found this helpful.